Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. Indiana State Sycamore is looking to do something tonight they have not done since 2000. Win at least a share of the Missouri Valley Conference regular season title. Maybe more to the Ford Center. We take you on this Wednesday. Aces and Sycamores playing in a packed crowd at the Ford Center. Many of them there to see Robbie Avila. Speaking of Robbie, what a night for him. Robbie doing the Robbie things, using his size to finish the foul. He had 17 points in the first half, then a missed three down. Robbie breaks down the Windex and gets that one to go. 35 points, eight rebounds, a new career high. Next time down the floor, it's Julian Larry to Jabo to Ryan Conwell for the nail in the coffin. A big three for Ryan. Indiana State gets an emphatic win in Evansville, 85 to 67. The final Sycamores win a share of the MVC regular season title, the first time since 2000. Here is head coach Josh Schertz after the big ISU win. Really proud of our guys. I uh, thought it was a, just a really good performance. I uh, had a little lull there. Middle of the first half came out great, and then I thought our defense second half was terrific and, you know, just a, a good team win across the board. And then certainly Robbie was, was tremendous uh, reading coverages and exploiting advantages. Julian Larry's pushing the pace, eight assists, no turnovers. Thought we shot it well, you know, 13 threes. Rags did a great job of, you know, they changed defense. We saw, you know, four or five different defenses. But guys, did a great job executing and attacking them all. And, and then our defensive end, I thought our work defensively on the glass was tremendous. So really good team win. Uh, you know, it sets up a great opportunity for us on uh, Sunday. We can't wait to be home on national TV in front of the best fans in the country. So let's go get it. Should be a lot of fun. Drake beats UIC in triple overtime tonight in Chicago. So the Sycamores didn't clinch the outright title, but they can do so Sunday against Murray State. Tip-off is set for four and what is sure to be a sold-out Holman Center on Sunday.